Hey you guys, what's going on? Today I have a review for you and it is on The Thing About the Truth by Lauren Branholt. Um, it is a new release, July 2012, so this month it just came out. Um, she's also the author of Watch Me, Two Way Street, Sometimes It Happens, and One Night. And there are those in mini covers. Um, I really like the cover of this book. I like when they're just like so fresh like that, and that girl's so pretty. I just love like how her hair is like flowing and everything. Okay, so I picked up this book yesterday from the library, as you can tell with the new sticker. And I finished it this morning when I got up. So I really enjoyed it. I read it super, super fast. And I just really wanted to get the review out for you guys because I hope a lot of you choose to read it. So let's get started. The two main characters' names are Kelsey and Isaac. Um, they're both in high school. They're both juniors, 17. And they both get kicked out of their high schools. And Isaac is the son of the senator for their state in which they live in. I don't think she mentioned which state they live in, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But he's a senator, and Isaac is his son. So um, Isaac is always rebelling in school. He's, like, trying to, you know, just get more attention, and he's just, like, the typical bad boy. Whereas Kelsey, um, hers is more of, like, it's kind of like a spoiler, so I don't really want to give it away, but... She has just, like, some conflict with um, some people at her school, and she just ends up getting kicked out of her school. And she went to the school called Concordia Prep, so it's a private school. They had to wear uniforms, and then she gets kicked out, and she has to go to the public school. And she's totally against it. She's like, I don't like any of these people. I don't want to make friends. Everyone here is weird. And Isaac, coming from the senator's family, um, they have money, and he has to go to this public school now so he's really skeptical about it too he's like why does everyone here like wear jeans and not khakis and I don't know weird things but so they um, meet at the school and Kelsey's really skeptical at first she's like I don't know if I like him he seems like he's kind of um, one of those boys that thinks that all of the girls should like him and she just gets a really weird vibe whereas Isaac's like mad that Kelsey's like ignoring him and just doesn't want anything to do with him. So Kelsey's really nervous that she's not going to be able to get into any colleges because of the act that she pulled at her other school. So she gets the idea to start like an after school club basically and um, Isaac overhears Kelsey telling somebody about her idea to start a club and she was telling the person that she's in meeting with the principal after school. So Isaac gets the idea to just, like, go into the meeting while she's in there. And he's like, oh, I want to start an after-school club thing, too. And she's like, you want to start a club? You're rich and spoiled, and you just don't want to do anything for everyone but yourself. And he's like, that's not true, blah, blah, blah. And he pulls out a notebook, and it looks like he has all of these ideas written down for what they call Face It Down Day which is basically the idea of the prep school and the public school coming together and discussing their differences. So when I was reading this, I was like, hmm, I feel like that would never happen because at least out where I live, like when I went to high school, we always like hated our rival school. Um, like we just didn't want anything to do with them. Like football games, we were always like being really rude to each other and everything. So for this activity, for them to like think about it, I was like, that's a nice idea, but I think in a lot of places it'd be very hard to accomplish um, with a lot of people's attitudes towards the rival schools in high school. But anyway, so that's their idea, and their principal is all for it. Well, it's Isaac's idea, not their idea. But the principal is all for it because Isaac is a senator's son, and the principal just like, basically everybody sucks up to him, like even the adults. So Kelsey's like, whatever, I'll work on it with you. So they start working on this Face It Down Day project together, and they recruit some people to be on their team, and then they start falling for each other, and um, that's basically the plot of it. They work on this, this Face It Down Day, they start falling for each other, but there's a lot of drama in between. Like, there's this girl, Mariana, I think her name is, and she's, like, obsessed with Isaac, but she's supposed to be really pretty, really popular, like... Just all the boys love her, and she just can't understand why Isaac doesn't want anything to do with her because he likes Kelsey. But she's like, I don't know, you get a, like a stalker vibe from her because she's like always 
like wanting to hang out with him and she's always texting him and he's like okay you can stop texting me I'm not responding to you like this is getting kind of weird I like Kelsey but the girl just doesn't take no for an answer so they both have to deal with that and um Kelsey has a lot of like demons that she has to face with all of her friends and her ex-boyfriend and people from her old prep school so she um is forced to see her old best friend a lot because Kelsey's dad and her old best friend's dad work together and they're work buddies so they always have like dinners and things so the girls always have to see each other which is awkward because her old friends don't really want much to do with her because of the stunt she pulled at the school and it's just a hot mess but the book is really 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 good and I mean I'm not surprised that I finished it so soon I'll show you guys it again because I just really liked it there's the binding. But yeah, so copyright just came out this month. It's really awesome. The hardcover is $16.99. I don't think there is a, a paper paperback out right now, seeing as though it is so new, but I'm sure they have it at your library. I mean, they had it at mine, so hopefully they have it at yours too if you're interested in reading it. But I really liked it. The ending was cute. I mean, it is a YA book, so... I wasn't expecting anything like scary, I don't even know, like I wasn't expecting anything like whoa, um, anything crazy or like adultish to happen, but it's a cute ending, that's how I would describe it, cute. I mean I wasn't really like, oh my god, I love the ending, but the book itself I really did enjoy, and I enjoy the author's writing style, um, yeah that's pretty much it. The next book that I am going to start reading is called Dark Companion by Marta Acosta and this is pretty new as well because it has a new sticker here let's see I'm always weird I always look at the copyright because I'm like I just do that with every book I pick up and then I don't know it's a weird habit um yeah this just says copyright 2012 but it doesn't say the month like the last one did but yeah so this is brand new too look at the cover I really like the cover it's like mysterious and she's in the woods and whatnot so this one's a little bit thicker than the one I just finished now, so this should probably take me a little bit longer to finish that. But yeah, so really liked this book. Um, not really anything bad to say about it. So yeah, if you're interested, go read it and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.